ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇ സി അക്കാഡമി ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ ലെറ്റ് എസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദി പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഓൺ സ്റ്റഡി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് എറർ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റഡി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് എറർ കോഫിഷ്യൻസ് ടുഡേ വി വിൽ സോൾവ് ടു പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രോബ്ലം ഈസ് എ യൂണിറ്റി ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് സിസ്റ്റം ഹാസ് ജി ഓഫ് എസ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ഇൻറ്റു വൺ പ്ലസ് എസ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ എസ് സ്ക്വയർ ഇൻറ്റു ടു പ്ലസ് എസ് ഇൻറ്റു ഫോർ പ്ലസ് എസ് ഫോർ ദിസ് ജി ഓഫ് എസ് വി നീഡ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് സ്റ്റഡി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് എറർ കോഫിഷ്യൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദി എറർ വെൻ ദി അപ്ലൈഡ് ഇൻപുട്ട് ഈസ് ആർ ഓഫ് ടി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫോർട്ടി പ്ലസ് ടു ടി പ്ലസ് ഫൈവ് ടി സ്ക്വയർ സോ ഫോർ ദിസ് വി നീഡ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദി സ്റ്റഡി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് എറർ കോഫിഷ്യൻറ്റ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ദി എറർ വെൻ വി അപ്ലൈ ദി ഇൻപുട്ട് ആർ ഓഫ് ടി whenever they give the system as unity feedback system we need to know that h of s is equal to 1 and they have given g of s first we need to write the open loop transfer function which is g of s into h of s will be equal to g of s is 20 into 1 plus s divided by s square into 2 plus s into 4 plus s into 1 because h of s is equal to 1 now the given equation is not a standard equation let us convert this equation into a standard equation then we will find the steady state error coefficients now we will write the numerator as it is 20 into 1 plus s divided by in denominator we will keep s square and in the first term where we are having 2 plus s we will take 2 as common it will be 1 plus s by 2 in the second term we will take 4 as common and we will write that as 1 plus s by 4 now we can write this as 20 into 1 plus s divided by s square into 2 into 4 it is 8 into 1 plus 1 by 2 we can write it as 0.5 s into 1 plus 1 by 4 we can write it as 0.25 s now we can cancel out this 8 and 20 as 2.5 times so we'll get this equation as 2.5 into 1 plus s divided by s square into 1 plus 0.5 s into 1 plus 0.25 s if you compare this with the standard equation it is similar to k into 1 plus t1 s divided by s square into 1 plus t a s into 1 plus t b s yes. so we have converted this equation to a standard equation now from this equation we can identify in the denominator we are having s square which means j is equal to 2 so the given system we can identify this as type 2 system now let us find steady state error coefficients we can write kp which is positional error coefficient as limit of s tends to 0 g of s into h of s so we can take this equation and we can write 2.5 into 1 plus s divided by s square into 1 plus 0.5 s into 1 plus 0.5 25 yes for this we can apply limit s yes, tends to 0 for this equation if we apply limit s tends to 0 so if we make s is equal to 0 so the denominator term will become 0 so reciprocal of 0 we will get kp is equal to infinity now let us find velocity error coefficient which is kv kv is equal to limit of s tends to 
s into g of s into h of s. So, we can write this as limit of s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s we can write this equation 2.5 into 1 plus s divided by s square into 1 plus 0 0.5 s into 1 plus 0 0.25 s. Now, we can cancel out this s and s square in the denominator we will be left out with s if you apply s is equal to 0 the denominator term will become 0 and the reciprocal of 0 it is infinity. So, we got k v as infinity. Next we will find acceleration error coefficient k a as limit of s tends to 0 s square g of s into h of s. So, we can write this as limit of s tends to 0 s square into g of s into h of s you can write this equation 2.5 into 1 plus s divided by s square into 1 plus 0.5 s into 1 plus 0.25 s. Yes. Now, in this equation we can cancel out s square and now if we apply limit s is equal to 0 this term will become 0 this term will become 0 and this term will become 0. So, we will get this as 2.5 into 1 in the numerator it will be 2.5 divided by in the denominator 1 into 1 it is 1. So, we will get k a is equal to 2.5. So, we found k p is equal to infinity, k v is equal to infinity and k a is equal to 2.5. The input they have given it as r of t is equal to 40 plus 2 t plus 5 t square. Always remember we can represent a step input as a we can represent a ramp input as a t and we can represent a parabolic input as a by 2 t square. So, comparing this with this equation we can write r of t is equal to a 1 plus a 2 t plus a by 2 t square. So, which means the given input is having 40 steps 2 ramp and 10 parabolic. If we compare these two equations we can write the given input is having 40 steps 2 ramp and 10 parabolic. The total steady state error can be written as steady state error due to step input plus steady state error due to ramp input plus steady state error due to parabolic input. So, we can write the total steady state error as a 1 divided by 1 plus k p. So, this is for the step input plus a 2 divided by k v. This is for the ramp input plus a 3 divided by k a. So, this is for the parabolic input. So, steady state error will be equal to if we compare these two we can say a 1 is equal to 40, a 2 is equal to 2 and a 3 is equal to 10. So, we can write 40 divided by 1 plus infinity because k p is equal to infinity plus 2 divided by infinity because k v is equal to infinity plus 10 divided by 2.5 because k a is equal to 2.5. So, we will get total steady state error as inverse of infinity it is 0 plus inverse of infinity or reciprocal of infinity it is 0 plus 10 divided by 2.5 it is 
4 the overall steady state error you can write it as 4 for the given system so steady state coefficients kp is equal to infinity kv is equal to infinity ka is equal to 2.5 and the overall error is 4 now let us solve the second problem for a block diagram which represents a heat treating oven the set point which is the desired input is 1000 degree centigrade what is the steady state temperature so here they have given the block diagram which represents a heat treating oven for this heat treating oven the desired temperature is 1000 degree centigrade for that we need to find the steady state temperature whenever they give the block diagram you need to always observe in a block diagram the h of s should be equal to 1 and the type of feedback is negative feedback so the type of feedback should always be a negative feedback with h of s is equal to 1 if the given feedback is positive feedback then we need to convert that positive feedback into a negative feedback and we need to solve the problem so always h of s should be equal to 1 and the feedback should be a negative feedback now from this block diagram we can say h of s is equal to 1 and g of s is equal to 2000 divided by s plus 1 into 1 plus 0.1 s into 1 plus 0.005 s and the given input r is equal to 1000 so this is the given input since this is the given input we can compare this input to the step input with the amplitude a so we can say the given input is a step input because we don't have any term as t so we can write g of s into h of s is equal to so g of s is 2000 divided by s plus 1 into 1 plus 0.1 s into 1 plus 0.005 s so in the denominator there is no s term which means j is equal to 0 so s to the power of 0 we will get 1 here so in the denominator we don't have any s term so we can say j will be equal to 0 so the given system is type 0 system for a step input we can find kp is equal to limit of s tends to 0 g of s into h of s is equal to limit of s tends to 0 2000 divided by s plus 1 into 1 plus 0.1 s into 1 plus 0.005 s yes. so this is in the form of standard equation if we put s is equal to 0 in this we will get this term as 0 so this term will be 0 and this term will be 0 so the value of kp will be equal to 2000 divided by 1 into 1 into 1 which is 1 so we can say kp is equal to 2000 once we get kp we can find the steady state error for a step input as a divided by 1 plus kp the value of a is 1000 so we can write 1000 divided by 1 plus kp is 2000 so we'll write that as 1 plus 2000 so overall steady state error will be 0 0.0499 now we need to find the steady state temperature the steady state temperature let us write that as desired temperature minus steady state error so we can write tss is equal to 1000 is the desired temperature minus steady state error is 0 0.0499 so from this we can write the steady state temperature as 999.95 degree centigrade so the desired temperature is 1000 for the given block diagram 
the steady state error is 0 0.0499 and the actual temperature steady state temperature at the output is 999.95 degree centigrade so we are having very less steady state error for the given block diagram this is about the problems on steady state error coefficients as well as steady state error hope you have understood the topic thank you